think I'm in a position of power. I don't usually like to use that term, but compared to what my ancestors and my grandparents had to deal with, I think I'm in a really great position to talk about their history and my history. For the festival, I've decided to make a work relating to the nuclear bomb tests that happened in the 1950s at Maralinga. A lot of the bomb clouds had travelled across school with the country, which is my grandfather's country, or my country. When I first started my research relating to Maralinga, what I found was a lot of people didn't know about it. I found that really interesting because it wasn't that long ago that those tests happened. I wanted to create a large scale work that spoke about one of those bomb clouds. I felt like I needed to go up and see what was up there. I am aware that there were quite a large number of bombs that were tested. I felt quite uneasy at the breakaway bomb site. That particular bomb blast turned the, the surrounding dirt into glass. So it seemed fitting that I'll be making the cloud out of glass yams. I'm quite nervous, to be honest, I think because it's the biggest work I've ever made. So it'll be a suspended work over five metres high. So there's over 2,000 yams. I'm trying to picture it in the space and how I would feel about it. Um, I think the fact that I can make the yams out of my own breath, I find it empowering. It's part of who I am, I think. I think I'm in a position of power. It's something I feel really strongly about. It's something that I think about every day. I'm quite proud that I'm able to tell my grandparents' story through my artwork. Yeah.